in this videos we get directly into the concept of subgroup I'm going to leave here a first a small definition if a if we have a subset H of G and if um, a subset so a subset of here we have a group okay under this operation okay now a subset of G a subset H of G if H is closed to the same operation okay so H the set H is closed for the same operation as G and if H and the operation G is itself a group if it is itself a group uh, then H is a subgroup of G. Now the true theorem is a subset H of a group G is a subgroup if and only if one H is closed under the binary operation of G. The ID of G is in H and 3 for all A in H it is true that the inverse is also in H. So if we have a group G with a an operation okay and H is a subset of the set G okay we will say that H is a subgroup of G if and only if H is closed under the binary operation of G meaning that if I operate A for instance A operated B the, the element that I get through this operation will be C and C is in H so H is closed for the uh, operation of the group the ID the ID of the group the group identity so I should write here uh, identity the identity of G the identity of G the idea of G is in H so it's here and for all A in H every single element in H the inverse is also in H okay so if these three uh, conditions happen then you can say that uh, H is a proper subgroup of G an improper subgroup of G will be a, the set E and the, the empty set. Okay, those are the imp improper subgroups of a group. Okay, so this H will be a proper subgroup of G. We already saw this example in one of the previous videos right so here we have a group Z4 under addition okay this is the set addition module 4 of course you're adding module module 4 okay and here you have another uh, set okay let's see if um, the set this set under addition module 4 is a subgroup of 
z4 the group z4 and the addition module 4 okay you can we can check this one by one like in the theorem a subset h is this a subset yes it is 0 2 is a subset of z4 of a group g this is a group is a subgroup if and only if okay one h is closed under the binary operation of g so if i add 0 plus 0 i get 0 if i add 0 plus 2 i get 2 if i add 2 plus 2 i'll i'll get 0 so this uh, uh, set is closed under the binary operation of z4 okay so far so good this one this condition is checked for this uh, set with this operation is the identity of g in h what is the identity of z4 well the identity is zero right that's the only element that performing the operation with any other element you get the same other element so to speak okay is the identity uh, here yes it is okay so the identity is in this set um, every single element of h has the inverse in h2 okay so what is the inverse of the of zero well the inverse of zero is zero so zero plus zero you get zero and zero is the identity so for zero uh, check this one as inverse what about two here two is the inverse of itself two plus two you get zero so two is the inverse of two so for every single element uh, in this set you have an inverse so the third condition is checked too so we can say that this set under this uh, operation is a sub group of z4 i'm not doing the 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 proof for this theorem because everything everything follows from the from the definitions it's, it's really easy now uh, this can take some time right to go and check one by one uh, if h is closed under a binary operation etc if the identity is there and all that sort of of thing so um, what we I'm I'm going to show you now um, uh, different kinds of tests for um, for checking if uh, H is a subgroup of a group so here we have a theorem one step subgroup test let G be a group and H a non-empty subset of G then H is a subgroup of G if h is closed under division that is if uh, a inverse times b is in h whenever a and b are in h so some intuition before the proof you have an element a and b they are both in h if you pick B and divide by A it's like B times the inverse and if doing this you are still in H you say H is a subgroup so H is a subgroup of G this H here is a subgroup of G if H is closed under division meaning you pick up any element you divide by the inverse or you divide any two elements B dividing by A dividing two elements you are still in H okay 
for whenever A and B are in H. Okay, now we are going to do the proof of this theorem. So now we are going to do the proof of this theorem, okay, the one-step subgroup test. Okay, um, we are taking H with an operation, right? From G with an operation. Um, the operation of H is the same as the operation of G, okay? So it's obvious that the operation in H will also be associative. Associa associative. Now we have to check the identity, right? Okay. So we have to prove that the identity is in H. Okay. H Um, H is non empty, right? So we pick uh, an element X in H, okay? And now we let A be X and B also can be X in the hypothesis, of course. So we have x times the inverse equals the identity, right? That means that a times the inverse is in h. The common question here is, how come you say that x inverse is in h? What reassures you that x inverse is in H, knowing that x is in H, how do you know that the inverse is in H? Well, you just do this. You pick A as the identity and B x. Okay. So, the identity times x, you would get the x, and x will be in h, okay? So, finally, the, the proof will be complete when we show that h uh, is uh, closed, right? Mm -hmm. So we have to prove that H is closed, right? Okay. Um, so we have to prove that if X and Y are in H, um, X operation Y are also in H, okay? But we already proved that the inverse is in H. Okay, if if um, uh, if um, if Y is in H, we already proved that the inverse is also in H. Okay? So, let A be X and B the inverse of Y. So, we have uh, XY equals X inverse inverse so this is a b and this is in h okay and that concludes the theorem